it's 6 a.m. I'm tired, it's Monday. We're gonna get up and get our day started. Let's do it. This is the, gonna be the hardest wake up of the week. So we know once we get out of bed right now, we've got it easy breezy for the next four days. Good morning you guys, happy Monday. After waking up and like going out on my walk, like I always just feel so much better. It's not, like it's no longer like, oh, I'm up so early. It's actually such an accomplishing feeling to have things checked off your list so early and for me to get things done before my daughter wakes up and I just get to have my alone time with God on my walk. I usually pray and then listen to a podcast and then I come in and read my Bible, do my Bible study, do my devotional, and then I put some worship music on and get my morning started with her but yeah it's just been so nice doing this little routine yeah i've got some tea on the stove right now heating up the kettle and we're gonna do some green tea with honey and lemon i've been really loving that more than coffee recently but yeah we're gonna get some tea and then do bible study i'm gonna read you guys my devotional like i have been today is day 100 i'm pretty sure so yay but we're starting it right over again because when i first got it i was not reading it like every single day so we're gonna read it every single day 100 days through that's the plan of action for the morning i smell like outside like extra this morning chi chi she's scratching my couch ow stop but yeah i got daughter's laundry in the i got daughter's laundry in the dryer and gotta do laundry today gotta do a workout today yeah that's the plan of action for the morning let's go make my tea up and we will do daily devotional. Okay, we are on day 100. Today's title is Heavenly Identity. Identity seems to be everything today. More and more people are seeking to find their unique place in this world and looking for just the right words to describe themselves and just the right people with whom they can identify. Individualism is rampant. But did you know that God already gave his children an identity in him? I like how 1 Peter 2.10 puts it. Once you were nobody, now you are God's people. At one time, no one had mercy on you. Now God has treated you with kindness. If you've ever felt like a nobody, put that thought and feeling behind you. Jesus didn't give his life for nobodies. You were worth dying for. And by accepting Christ, you join his family forever. Once God adopts you into his family and you become his child, he begins to work in you so your life lines up with your heavenly identity. In Christ, you're a new kind of person. Your old identity is gone forever. In 2 Corinthians 5.17, the apostle Paul tells us, anyone who belongs to Christ is a new person. The past is forgotten and everything is new. Your new identity says you're blessed, loved, chosen, holy, adopted into God's kingdom, free, and forgiven. You don't have to search for who you are any longer. Confusion doesn't have a, to cloud your identity. It's clear who you are. You're royalty, a child of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And then the verse is 1 Peter 2.10. Once you were nobody, now you are God's people. At one time you had no mercy on you. Now God has created kindness with you. Here's the prayer. Father, thank you for adopting me as your child. Remove any confusion surrounding my identity and set me free to see myself the way you see me. I confess that I am loved, chosen, blessed, and highly favored because I belong to you. Amen. So good so good and we're flipping back to page one i will also have this devotional linked for you guys if you want to buy for yourself it's literally so good and it's on amazon i don't think that it was really expensive maybe like 20 bucks or something love it though and i loved that 
devotional heavenly identity how when we gain our identity in jesus god works in our life to change things around so that our life sorry the air just kicked on so that our life matches our heavenly identity with him and i just feel like that's so beautiful and if you've noticed kind of a shifting in my content not really the type of content but just like what i'm saying in my videos and just talking about jesus and trying to bring light to your guys day through him like feel like that's definitely just god working in my life and yeah i'm just being a kingdom worker and you guys don't have to like be a christian to watch my videos or anything but yeah just wanted to share that with you guys so devo done and i'm going to go ahead and do my bible study i'm reading through the book of matthew right now you guys these pants in better lighting but maybe i can just show you guys in the car but super cute workout outfit today i got these leggings they're cute and purple i got them from plato's closet for ten dollars ten dollar workout leggings and they're the butter soft material what a steal and they're like perfect the tag is cut out so i don't know what brand they are but yeah they're so good and i just have on this gray workout tank yeah guys i'm not sports gang i'm not sports bra gang anymore i won't lie like i just feel so much i just feel so much cuter and more confident in tank and I feel like it's more modest anyways I mean a lot of workout clothes if you want them to be like not super hot aren't the most modest but making little changes here and there super cute love the tank yeah let's do the bed get our shoes on and then we will go work out so hot out you guys it's so hot out okay not the best day to wear leggings though i'll say we are out for the day sorry for any bumps that you guys hear i fear it'll just have to be what it is but we are going to work out right now normally on mondays i would go to yoga but if you guys watch my last video then you guys know i don't go to yoga anymore because it just does not align with being a christian and do your own research go with your own discernment i guess but i I'm telling you, it does not align with Christianity. It is from Hinduism. It's not even like from another culture. It's from another religion. And I'm not going to practice anything from any religion other than Christianity because my relationship with Jesus is more important than the way that I enjoy to work out. But I am gonna start Pilates and bar at another studio. I was literally praying to God, like, please, this is like, I don't do Pilates because it's so expensive. Like, please give me an alternative to yoga so that I can stop doing yoga and still be able to move my body in a similar way. Like, please give me a Pilates class that's a similar price. And I found one that's only $3 more per class. That is so fantastic. God is so good, but I'm not starting it until next week. So right now we're gonna go work out at my dad's like normal. I'm gonna do 30 minutes on the treadmill and then 30, 20 minutes, I don't know, of a Pilates leg workout video yeah that is my plan of action i've also been trying to not say that's my vibe because vibes also like even if i'm saying it innocently like i'm not trying to do anything even innocently that does not align with jesus no accidental sinning no nothing nope so i have to like use real words now like that's not my style that's not my whatever that's my vibe like that's the plan that's the plan for right now um hour long workout Let's get it.
I made a little parfait. It's vanilla honey Greek yogurt with blueberries, honey raisin almond granola, and some peanut butter with honey drizzle on top. It's so good. I made it in my last video, but I'm just going to eat this. I'm super hungry, so I just want to get some fuel before I get on with the rest of my night. Super yummy, and I'm so excited to eat this. Hey, guys. I'm sitting at my desk. We haven't had this angle in forever. I'm about to use my blow dry brush and show you guys how I have been styling my hair. I started doing this not too long ago, but especially since I just got it cut. It took like four inches off. Also, y'all don't mind what's happening right here. It's really red and irritated. I'm having a hormonal breakout, so that's great. But I just got a new product that's coming. That's an ingredient that my skin really likes. So I'm excited to start using it because besides this breakout, the rest of my skin is really flat and calm. So we're just having a, a rampage right now. And I just like took a shower and messed with them. So there's that too. But yeah, I cut like four inches off. Still really long, but there's a rule. I feel like there's a said but unsaid rule about having two out of three things done. And one of them always has to be your hair. So either your hair and your makeup or your hair and your outfit. So I've noticed that when my hair is gross and looking ugly, I feel ugly and I feel gross. So having my hair done, no matter what my outfit or my face looks like, just helps me feel put together. So I'm gonna show you how I've been doing my hair. I've been blow drying it and then just going back in with my blow dryer brush to touch it up and then do my short pieces so I'm just gonna go through right now and brush through it and maybe like try to flip the ends a little bit and then I'll show you how I do my bangs Just refresh that and also I've noticed that when I do a nice good blow dry after I wash my hair like it stays in even if I put a ponytail in like it doesn't really crease as easily if I take my time and like do it right the first time so love that too all right I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair I wonder if the hair products that my hair lady was doing gave me breakouts because I also have a pimple on my forehead and I never get pimples on my forehead like that's not an issue for me I'm wondering if I had the products on my hair and then it was like brushed in front of me and it was all sitting on my face and being like pulled tight and stuff on my face and that gave me a breakout <sighs> interesting good thinking Lexi I'm almost sure that that's what happened um okay yeah so I'm just gonna take these pieces I just shook them forward as you can see said it like separated them out took the rest behind my ears and then I'm just gonna take the brush and brush them backwards and get them hot also I don't have heat protectant right now I know what a fail I need to get heat protectant, but just for now, we're raw dogging it. Then we're gonna take a little roller, roll them up, and clip them. And now I'm just gonna wait for these bangs to cool, and then I'm gonna be right back. Hey, okay. gonna move the camera up a little bit, take the clip out, and I just yank this out, and then I just flip them over, and I have a little bit of volume. So cute. And like, that's all you Beautiful. need. Thanks, my. But yeah, all you need sometimes is a little bit of volume in the front. Like, it's literally so basic. Like, my hair is basically just straight with the flipped front piece. Yeah, it makes me feel just like 10 times better. So, adorbs. But yeah, that's how I've been doing my hair lately. Okay, you guys, I'm currently in bed. I just put Alea to sleep. I'm going to finish editing my video for this Wednesday. And then I'm going to do like the music and the overlays tomorrow. But I want to finish the whole rough cut. You guys, I love that my videos are just naturally getting like longer. Because I just feel like that means I'm getting more and more comfortable. And like, we're locking in. So... Yes. I love you guys. I'm going to edit. Make sure that if you guys want to see like the 75 hard stuff to look at my shorts and also follow me on TikTok and my Instagram. Everything is linked in my description box. And um, yeah, I'm also posting the things on shorts as well. But yeah, I'm going to do some editing, finish up, and then I'm going to read my Bible and go to bed. I've been reading my Bible in the morning and then before I go to bed instead of like scrolling on my phone before bed. So that is my plan. Hope you guys enjoyed spending the Monday with me. I enjoyed spending my Monday with you guys so so much and I hope that today's video gave you loads of motivation so that you can start to love Mondays and not just live for the weekend. Mwah! Love you guys. I'll see you in my next video.